Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about, the concept of gauge pressure. Our flagship courses are, Master Static Equipment Design, and PVE Light, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. Gauge bar and absolute bar. Many times we keep on, uh, you know, I've seen uh, engineers getting confused with bar and bar absolute gauge. Okay. So let's discuss a little bit about that. So local atmospheric pressure is roughly 14.7 PSI if you are measuring in PSI. Okay. And that will be in what? If I say local absolute pressure is 14.7 PSI, this value is in what? In absolute or gauge? 14.7 PSI pressure of atmospheric or one bar pressure of atmosphere. That is in absolute, one bar absolute or one bar gauge. One bar absolute or one bar gauge. Okay. See. So just for the time being, for let us maybe for two or three minutes, just forget about there is something like gauge exist at all. Okay. Just forget concept of gauge. Okay. Forget there is something which like gauge exists. Okay. There is only and only absolute pressure. Okay. For next two minutes. Okay. So absolute pressure is what? It's like measuring the, uh, you know, pressure. So like rho gh, whatever you are calculating, that is the pressure which we are talking about. Okay. So if air or any liquid is there that will create pressure. Okay. So pressure, if it is only in absolute terms, what do you think will be the minimum value of it? What will be the minimum value of pressure if we just talk about absolute? Okay. That is what maximum we can achieve, right? We can achieve zero atmosphere. Can we go like minus one atmosphere? There is no concept like minus one, right? I cannot do that. So what we can have zero atmosphere. Okay. There is no, like we are in space. There is no atmosphere at all. Zero. So with zero height, what will be the pressure you'll be getting with rho gh? There is no height of at all, right? So what will be the value which you'll be getting for zero bar absolute, right? So that is the level from which the pressure starts. Okay. It's zero bar absolute. Okay. So remember that this is my zero level from where that pressure will either be more okay, or in between it cannot be lower than that. Okay. So remember that clear now local atmosphere because we have atmosphere available on earth. We have this value of 14.7 PSI or one bar. Okay, which is definitely more and we are measuring in absolute. So it is nothing but absolute pressure. Okay. Absolute one bar. If you say, or 14.7 bar, that pressure is in absolute terms. Okay. So it is more than this. Some atmosphere is there and we calculated based on rho GH. We got 14.7 PSI. Okay. So 14.7 PSI is the local atmospheric pressure. Making sense till here, no atmosphere, zero, some atmosphere because of the height we'll calculate and some value, which we got, right? That is 14.7, maybe at some location, right? So 14.7 bar absolute. Okay. Now, if I tell you to design, you no, know, I have kept a pressure vessel. Okay. In the atmosphere. It is completely open. Okay. There's a cylinder. It is open at both the ends. What do you think will be the pressure inside that? 14.7 PSI because atmosphere is there. What is the pressure? It's atmospheric pressure. In this case, it's 14.7 PSI. Right? Agree all of you. What is the pressure outside? Inside I have. 14.7 PSI. What is the pressure outside of this vessel? Again, one atmosphere, which is nothing but in this case, 14.7 PSI. 
right now will this vessel will experience any pressure for sake of vessel now okay there is a pressure inside there is pressure outside but will that cylinder will feel any pressure no right because there is a difference of pressure is zero there is no difference in pressure so even though we have one bar pressure inside it is like no pressure uh, guys like us like engineers started thinking okay why to consider uh, you know absolute because it is creating confusion okay 14.7 psi if i just give this pressure for anyone he will just apply this and try to calculate the thickness but in a exact sense this is not the pressure because that we have to talk about the difference in pressure okay so we need a unit which can directly give the difference in pressure don't you think that will be good if we introduce a unit which gives directly the difference do you think that will be good idea so let us introduce a new unit which is gauge okay now gauge is there in your life okay we have introduced a new unit now okay so from absolute era now we are in gauge era okay so now this if you know what we decided that local atmospheric pressure whatever it is okay let us call it as zero you know because in my equipment see now we are thinking in terms of equipment okay, we are not thinking about only in pressure we are thinking about our purpose we have to design this pressure vessel and we want a unit which can directly give the difference right understand the purpose so the they, we decided that let us call this zero and whatever will be above this atmospheric level that will be the difference right which we need to design that pressure vessel do you think right getting it so whatever is the difference like it may be upward or it may be downward both way okay if it is up also then also there will be a difference you'll have to design it even if it is going downwards lower than the atmospheric still you'll be having something to design for okay so let us call that a gauge pressure which will give you the difference from atmospheric okay and then you can directly use it in design okay making sense now so that is how that gauge was introduced okay and whatever is up or low okay so low pressure no see many times we get confused with this vacuum okay what do you mean by vacuum is it a negative pressure so vacuum is you can call it as negative but in terms of gauge pressure not in terms of absolute pressure right actually your vacuum or a partial vacuum is still a positive pressure okay it's more than zero it's a positive pressure pressure cannot be negative remember that okay it's a negative in terms of the unit which we created for our sake you no know, for designing a pressure vessel to simplify our methods okay but in normal terms there is no concept of negative pressure okay pressure is always more than zero okay so vacuum is also a positive pressure but in terms of gauge you can call it as negative but always write it like negative gauge pressure don't write like negative pressure making sense so we cannot have negative pressure we, but we can have negative gauge pressure okay because in gauge my zero is up okay zero is at this level so with this respect i can go negative okay i can go positive so what we are saying that there is no negative pressure because we started with that right we cannot have absolute pressure less than zero right either there is atmosphere or no atmosphere okay maximum we can go up to zero atmosphere we cannot go below that okay so the pressure will be either zero or positive okay so there are no negative pressure but if are we are having any partial vacuum what exactly that means that we are below atmospheric so 
if you're talking about in gauge terms, we can have a negative gauge pressure. Okay, we can have a negative in this zone, we are having negative gauge pressure. But in absolute term, still it is positive. Making sense? Partial pressure or partial vacuum pressure, if we say, will be varying in this range. Right? This zone. That is the partial vacuum. Okay. If we are achieving full vacuum, which is basically not possible, but we can go closer to it. So that is this line. Okay. The bottom most line. Right. So partial pressure is this line no? in between. Less than atmospheric is basically your vacuum. Okay. So with your straw also, you are creating a little bit vacuum. Okay. Great. So absolute zero is basically your full vacuum and your gauge pressure. It's a term, you know, just we have coined that term for our design purpose. We want a value which will give the difference. How much above atmospheric or how much lower atmospheric. Okay. So that that value we can take directly for design. Okay. For in-depth training and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.